Good day everybody. In this video I would like to explain how to correlate data from three different tests. So the first test will be point load uh, index test. So please watch my video to know how to do that. Uh, the other one it's uh, unconfined compression test. Also this video available on my channel. And the third test will be Brazilian test or we'll call it tensile strength test. Well, um, I still don't have this video, but I will make one soon. And um, I, I would like to show you how we can correlate data from three different tests. So for example, if we know data from point load test, uh, in this example, we know that point load index is 1.12 MPA how we can estimate the unconfined compressor strength of this rock and also how we can estimate the tensile strength. So basically you just need to remember these uh, two formulas. So this is the correlation between the uh, UCS and point load index. And this one is UCS with the tensile strength. Uh, another important thing is that uh, these are estimations, so this is not exact values. It will just give you some idea about the strength. Please remember this one. Uh, it's always better to conduct tests, uh, each test and get the values. But for example, if you don't have this equipment or you don't have uh, money to do that, or you just have, uh, you just, you just want to have a quick estimates. In this case, you just use this uh, correlations. So let's see at this example, the one that we have here, and we'll see how we can correlate, uh, how we can estimate the unconfined compressive strains of this rock if we know that point load index is uh, 1.12 MPA. We're going to use uh, this equation. So this is the multiply 24. I'm going to write it here uh, UCS, it's equal 24 times 1.12. So how do we get this 24? So um, apparently there have been many tests uh, conducted. Uh, um, the researchers tested um, unconfined compressor strength uh, of that rock and also they tested point load index uh, um, values for that rock. And they got this, um, I would call it like rough estimation. So again, it's like, like it's estimation. Please remember this one. Um, for example, if you test rocks from, um, let's say, like maybe your region, uh, from a different place, you may not get this uh, 24, this multiplier. Uh, you're going to get uh, different values. That's okay. But if you still don't know what is the value to correlate uh, the rock strength uh, for your particular region, in this case, it's uh, okay to use 24. And then I'm going to write here that it will be 26.9 MPA. So this is the unconfined compressive strength of this rock, just estimation from the point load index. And now let's estimate the tensile strength. So it's uh, one tenth of the UCS. So if uh, UCS is 26.9, we're going to multiply by uh, 0 0.1. It's a sort of 10%. So in this case, um, we'll round it a little bit it will be uh, 2.7 MPA. So this is tensile strength. So this is just a quick and easy ways to estimate uh, the strength of uh, rocks. Thanks for watching this video and have a nice day. Bye.